Um, like Detective Kenny said, my name is Dave Molliner. I'm a detective for Frederick mm -hmm. Police Department, and I'm the lead investigator on the Watts case. Okay. Um, somewhere along the line, you made some statements about how you know Chris. Um, yeah, I met um, on Tinder at the beginning of like March-ish. Okay. And it was just like, I don't know, it was like fast and furious. I have a whole bunch of like articles written about me. And I think that's kind of like crossing over with the other girl. But like people have been like taking random pictures of me just walking down the street. And um, I just, you know, I, I just, I have no idea what to say. You know, I mean, it was, we just met once and. Okay. And this was March of? This year. This year of 2018. And you met on Tinder? Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, what, uh, <clears throat> I've never used Tinder. Is there like a username or how does that work? Um, yeah, so um, it's just like a profile you create. I've gotten back on there um, because you can deactivate it and reactivate it. It can either go off like your Facebook or Gmail or you can just make a whole new like, account or something like that. And um, yeah, and, um, so I went back and checked, and his profile wasn't there, so he must have deleted it on him end. Okay. And what was his profile name? I don't remember. It just said Chris. Did it have, like, a picture? It said Chris? Mm-hmm. Was that In the pictures, I remember he posted were him. He was, it was, like, I guess, like, a catfish thing, but he used another guy's, like, picture. It looked similar, and it was definitely not the guy in the picture when I met him. I said it was just, like... Like a one-time thing, like on the, the, um, I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. It's okay. No, just relax. Like I have yeah. nothing to hide, nothing at all. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, it's a little bit overwhelming, but, you know, and it's humiliating on, like, my end. It makes me feel, you know, come off as a whore, but, you know, I mean. So just walk me through from... The time, the one time that you said you met Chris, the timid, just walk me through that day, evening, whatever it was, that time period. Um, I don't know, we just uh, met, um, I don't know, it's like so blurry, um, and we just like met at the parking lot, Chick-fil-A, I don't know, it's sounds funny. <laughs> and um, well, I got something to drink and then we just went back to my house and... You both went back to your mm -hmm. house? Okay, and so what? followed me. What's, uh, which Chick-fil-A was that? One um, on Center Place. On Center Place? Uh-huh. Okay. So he drove here? Yeah. And like, I, I just, it's around like the February, March time period. I, I just, I, I couldn't tell you, I mean, I've met up, but, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, sound like a fool or not, but, you know, through a nasty divorce, and, you know, my kids are in Vermont, and so I just kind of went wild, and, yeah, you know, it's yeah, not, yeah, whatever, not safe, is. and, you know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge you for that, that's not, that's not the purpose of this meeting, so don't worry about that, okay. I don't care. Um, so talk to me just a little bit about where you met up. Um, you said that to Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. Did you both drive there? Mm -hmm. Okay, what was he driving? He was driving a truck. Okay, what did that truck look like? Uh, I think it was like Navy or something. Navy? Yeah, like blue, black, something like that. Okay, do you know what kind of truck? Yeah. Is it just a pickup? Anything specific about it or unique about it? Mm -hmm. Not that I remember. And then I remember just kind of, I don't know, I, I got something to drink and then we just like, it was like so humiliating for me, I mean, because I mean, the meetup was just about sex. So we kind of just like went and, you know, just, you know, met him somewhere. And then it wasn't like a, I know it's kind of funny now, but it was like a killer. <laughs> and, you know, no radars went off or anything, and so, I mean, it's just, like, scary, like, I had this guy in my home, and, you know, we, you know, had 
sex, and, and he left. Was that in the truck? No, it was in my house. So you, so you, you both pull up at the Chick-fil-A, and he pulls up in the navy blue truck, and you pull up in your car. What happened? Just walk me through that with a little bit of detail. Um, I mean, it's just embarrassing. Like, I don't worry about that. That's just us in this room, and I, I could care less about that kind of stuff. Um, so it's just to kind of just get a, like, a picture of, like, him, like, what I, you know, like, like a character, like, kind of thing. Um, so I remember he walked over to my car, um, I drive a, a Honda CRV, and we're like, oh, you want to go in or anything, and so, um, I just, I went inside, um, he, um, stayed out there, and I got some drink, and then we just sat down and talked for a little bit. I remember talking to him about the Anadarko, <coughs> where he worked, because my ex-husband tried to get on with them, but he had a history um, of, like, domestic violence and everything, so they wouldn't hire him. And so I remember that conversation, and he was like, oh, that's funny. Um, so I just, yeah, I just remember that, and then, um, he said that he was, like, split from his, um, he called baby mama, and, um, she wouldn't let him see his kids, and I remember kind of clicking with him about that, because my boys are in Vermont with my ex-husband, and it's been a nasty battle, and so, um, and then, um, so that was kind of like the conversation, and then we agreed to go back to my, um, my place, and we did it, and we left, and that was the end of the vacation. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, the Tinder thing, I got a couple questions about how that works. So, is that just like a, a app where you can chat? Yeah, you swipe left or right, and, and, uh, yeah, that's. And then if you match, then you can talk. If, if not, you move on. So then you have, did you actually talk on the phone with them before you met? Like, hey, meet me at the Chick-fil-A? How does that work? Um, so we talked back and forth. And then um, I, I had a, a different number um, through, like, a text now app. I just because it was really, like, um, I'm really, like, funny about who has my my, like, number, like, I'm, I'm all about, like, my privacy and stuff, so, um, I was talking to him through, like, a text now app, um, I no longer have my phone, um, I do have a new one, but I kind of, like, I don't have Tinder on this one, but, yeah, I mean, it's just a, a regular dating app, like, plenty of fish or, like, Cupid or something. Okay, so then... So then how did you arrange the meeting at Chick-fil-A? Um, through Tinder. I mean, through, how did you actually, was it all texting, or is it all, how did, did you say meet me at Chick-fil-A at, 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 on Center Place, or? Mm -hmm. I do remember that. And did, how, does he, how did he know to find you? Um, is he had that text now number. It was a, it's a number that I use. Um, so I talk to people like uh, my clients or something like that because um, I do hair mm -hmm. and uh, and said so I don't like um, people having like my you know actual phone number mm -hmm. um, you know so it was a, a text now app I said this was a, a long time ago um, I couldn't even you know tell you what number he had like I just I don't have anything like. So he called you on this text now phone number? Mm hmm So he, he didn't to, call me. He was it was all through text and stuff. It was all through mm -hmm. text. But you don't recommend the number? Mm-hmm. Okay. About what time do you think that was? Like what do you mean what time all Like time of day, night. Um let's see, so like a day or two before we just like, you know, talk like, hey, what's up? And then it was just more of like a spur of the moment like thing. I don't know. But I mean, what like, what time of. Updated, really? Yeah, was it an evening when you met with the. Yeah. At the Chick fil A? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
hours in the evening. Mm -hmm. About what time do you think that? Between mm -hmm. like 7.45 ish. It was after I got off of work and I went straight there. I got off of work at 7, so. So really, a long time it took you to drive there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're messaging while you're at work about where to be and all? Um, while I was at work, yeah, um, I decided to meet there and, and just, uh, and just meet and, and do it, you know, I mean, it, it's just, it's pretty hard for me to talk about because I had to explain to my parents, you know, like I said, when he was at my door, you know, I mean, it's just like, you know, I mean, like I said, like after, you know, my boys left from the divorce and stuff like that, I just went and like dash hit crazy and just, you know, hooked up with, yeah, I, I you know, I, I mean, it's just, that, yeah. no. it's just, you know, I, I wish I could <coughs> remember more details, you know, but like, seriously, like, and it's so shameful for me to say, you know, up until like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I would say, like, <coughs> I just was able to calm down and, you know, like, um, I also had, like, a brain injury, um, last year, trying a brain injury, and I think that kind of, um, contributes to my memory and stuff like that, but. How did that occur, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I, it was in January of last year, and I fell and hit my head on, on ice, and it was hard. And um, I just remember waking up. Uh, I was in that basement apartment. Um, it wasn't that. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't that Chris was that. And um, I remember um, my mom. I, I did pick up my daughter from school, and um, my mom kind of thought that was weird. And um, she came to the. I don't know how I made it back into the house, but she came in and. Next thing I know, like, I woke up in ICU, so, I mean, I was there for, like, five days and recovered pretty well. This was a subdermal hematoma, and so... Okay. Okay, so after the Chick-fil-A, take me from there. Um, you just followed me to my place. And I lived at the time clear on... Um, 18th Avenue. Remember the address? 1801 and a half, 18th Avenue. <coughs> okay, I'm listening. And, um, and we got out, um, kind of. I, I smoked a cigarette and I went inside and it was really like fast, it was really aggressive and then he, he left. Okay, and what do you mean by fast and aggressive? He was very like rough. That's all I'm, I'm going to say. And like, I don't know, like, in all honesty, like, it's just. I, I'm not like, you know, I just like remember seeing that face and, um, you know, the tattoos and the Anadargo job and stuff like that and the name. But other than that, like, you know, like, like I said, like I, before, like, I couldn't pick out like 90% of the guys that I've been with, you know, and like I know it sounds awful, but, you know, like, you know, it just seems unreal that you know, I would know somebody that did that, like, you know, I keep having these doubts, so I just, you know, I'm just not 100% sure, I mean, it's just like that all the details, you know, match, like, you know, it's just... So what <clears throat> What point did he tell you his name? In the app. In the app? He told you his name was Chris Watts mm -hmm. in the app? Well, not Watts, I mean, I get it. you know, you just put your first name. Okay, so he never told you his name was Watts? So how do you know it's him? Um, I just recognize the face and everything. Okay. Tell me about his tattoos. I remember they were on his back and his arms, but other than that, I don't. 
I just, I don't remember. I don't remember much. I don't know. He had tattoos on his arms and on his, on his back. Other than that, I just, like I said, I'm not a strong witness or anything like that. It's just an interaction I have with, with him. Do you remember seeing the tattoos on his legs? Yeah. So, you said, describe what you mean by aggressive when he was aggressive with you. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to say much. I really don't. Well, it's a pretty important case, though. You're now in the middle of it. What's that? You're now in the middle of it, at least this part of it. So you you said that he was being aggressive, so you need to tell me what that's about. And I was told to not really like say much without a lawyer. I just don't want to incriminate myself anyway. Well, I, I can tell you that I'm not looking at you for any criminal means you have as a witness. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay. Um, I don't know, I just remember kind of, it was like, I don't know, it, it's just like, it, it's hard to explain, it was like a, it's, it, it's humiliating um, for me to talk about. Like it, it really is. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I mean, he was rough, as in you know, it's just <laughs> he tried to you know like stick it in my butt. <laughs> so it's yeah. weird. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, but what what else that was aggressive or? <laughs> How did you like feel? Like pulling my hair and putting his arms around my, my uh, neck. It was like a, a rape fantasy thing. That's how I, you okay. know, like describe it. Um, it's really like, you know, I mean, I just remember thinking, like, what the fuck when he left? Like, I actually had to, like, push him off me at one point. Okay. I'm sorry, but I have to ask that. Back up a little bit. Do you have your ID with you? Mm -hmm. Can I see that real quick, please? Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to get this one. What's your current address now? Mm -hmm. Is it on your DL there? No, that's the old one. Oh, yeah, ID card. So you were saying that people are taking pictures of you now and following you around, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me about that a little bit. Pictures here that I have screenshot and people screenshot and send them to me. Okay. Um, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, it's an article Screenshot on Facebook, from it. Um, and then on the other ones, um, are they using my like the my I, I deactivated my Facebook and everything just because of all the messages and stuff that I've been getting. But yeah, that's. So you don't have any of that anymore. Uh, the the messages. 
Yeah. What are the what are the what are the content of the messages? I guess. Um, let me pull some up. Okay. So somehow my messenger is still um, active, even though I deleted my my Facebook. I don't know how that works, but like I didn't accept them. But this one's like. So the content of them is like that. I don't, um, back uh, how this started is um, in my big mouth. Um, I was I joined a group. Um, it was like this Kimberly Kessler, um, this thing in um, in Florida, this hairdresser that went missing, and um, accused like one of her coworkers of um, of her uh, disappearance. And so it was called like a slew um, group or something like that, and they created one about the Watts case. And mm -hmm. um, there's something about like, oh, I wonder if you know there was a history of infidelity. And stupid me, I'm like, well, I can. I met this guy on Tinder, and I'm not even kidding. Within like two hours, I had like 400 notifications and you know like 30 messages, and like I, I deleted it. I deleted everything. I deleted my you know. Facebook and then, you know, just all of a sudden, like, you know, reporters and news people have got, like, they, they track down my phone number, they track down my email addresses, and, you know, even, like, you know, know where I work, and, you know, I was, like, put on suspension at work because of those pictures and stuff floating around they don't want. The picture you just showed me? Yeah, my can you, sent me that. Can you pull that back up for me? Can I take a picture of that? So when you said that I met this guy on Tinder, who are you referring to? Chris. Chris, Chris Watts? Yes. Okay. And that's how everything got out. Yeah. And when did that happen? Um, I want to say like a couple of, of days after it came out that he that he had killed her, that he killed his family. So it was like when it was discovered that all the details, so it was a couple of weeks ago, um, probably like timeline wise. Let's see. Because I was at work, so I, and I, I don't have cable or anything. Everything I see is from, you know, Facebook, and I'm not on very much. And um, so, like, I had. No idea any of this was going on until I joined the group. Um, I saw, you know, like the. Uh, it, it's weird because um, one of my my friends are is. Uh, so Nicole, you talk about used to be her name. She was my manager over at um, Supercuts here in Greeley, and um, she was Shanann's best friend. Um, she's the one that did all the you know the interviews and stuff like that. And so I saw um, something on her um, on her Facebook about like Shannon missing and stuff, and so I knew like that part, but I didn't know like it was about Chris. Mm -hmm. So it's a small world. So, so you said Nicole, you and Nicole worked together a long time ago. And that was how long ago? Uh, that was when I was still married, probably like 2000. 13, I want to say 2013. Okay, do you know where you said Utah? Mm hmm. And at where? Supercuts. Where at Oh, um, by Walmart and um, Noodles on just West 10th here. Okay. Okay. And you are positive the guy you met on Tinder is Chris Watts. See, and, and that's the, the million dollar question. Like, everything matches up from, you know, the, from what I remember. But I'm just like not like confident enough to get up there 
and be like, yeah, that was him. Like, you know, I mean, if it were just weeks ago, you know, that'd be one thing. But, you know, like, I, I just, I've been, like, going back and forth with this the whole time. I am, like, 99.9% that it's him. You know, like, I, honestly, like, all the other guys that I've, you know, hooked up with, I really couldn't point them out in a crowd, you know. I just went, like, just crazy. Like, that's all I can, like, like really say with, you know, there's all these, these men, you know, like, you know, I'm, I honestly, you know, I just 99.9% .9 sure it was him. Okay. Like, I, I wish I had more, really wish I did, but, you know, it's like, I don't. The 1% doubt is because of why? Probably because of the, the complexity of this case. What does that you mean? Know, I mean, just the not, you know, wanting to get involved, just not, you know, like, Believing it's true, you know, just kind of denial about, you know, being a, a whore or something like that, and like coming, you know, forward. But like seriously, like I just, just that one percent chance, you know, it's like I, I just, I'm more like thinking, like yes, I, I, I just like every just matches every like you know, just the what I have in my head, like you know, just those images that I can't get out or kind of like burned in there, you know, but I have this, like, these doubts, you know, like, it's just, I, I just don't know. Okay. Did he talk about his family? Um, he just said that he was separated, and he said he was baby mama, wouldn't let him see his, girl, see his kids, he didn't say anything else, but I do remember him saying that, and then... <coughs> the Anadarko conversation and the only two conversations that we really, really had. Okay, so he told you he worked for Anadarko, mm -hmm. and was that before or after you met him? This was, In person, I mean. This was during. During what? Well, Our meeting, yeah, at Chick-fil-A. At Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. okay. Did he ask you what you did? Yeah, you know, I, do, I did hair. For Supercuts? No, for, I'm on Great Clips in Portland. That's where you're at now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were you at Great Clips at that same time you met him? Yes. Okay. Is there anything else that you can think of that I need to know that you think I should know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to call you that I think of anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm going to give you my card. Okay. okay. And hang on just a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay.